at their cap. DeAndre Ayton is the worst number one pick in the last 10 years. So let me tell you the last 10 number one overall picks. 2023, Victor Wimanyama. 2022, Paolo. 21, Anthony Bennett was 20, Cunningham. Yeah, Anthony Bennett 20, was 20, Anthony Anthony Edwards, Zion Williamson, DeAndre Ayton, Markel Fultz, Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins. So factor what was Anthony cap. Bennett? That was th- 2013. Anthony. That's why I said 10 years. Oh, mm-hmm. man. I, 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 Kevin, I, I saw exactly the way that you laid this out. I, Because, I, I, Toddy, that was the first name that came yeah. to mind for me. Like, instantly, it was like, oh, Anthony Edwards. But then I was like, no, that was 2013. Damn it. Okay, so that was more than 10 it. years ago. Uh, okay, so DeAndre Aiden is the worst number one pick in the last 10 years. This is Cap because you just ran off the names. And initially, remembering that Anthony Bennett was more than 10 years ago, I kind of thought to myself, yeah, you know, he could be because as much as Ben Simmons has flamed out with the back injuries, uh, he did this is Sean make defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, but anyways, at, at one point, Ben Simmons did make all defensive teams multiple times. He was a multiple time all star. So like Ben Simmons had a great start to his career. Hasn't gone well since DeAndre Ayton can't say the same. But there was one name that you said there, Kevin, that just stuck with me. Markel Fultz. Markel oh, really? Fultz was the guy who got drafted first overall in the draft that Jason Tatum went three we and Aaron Fox went five. <laughs> and Toddy Celtics absolutely fleeced the 76ers because the Celtics could have stayed at number one and picked Tatum. Instead, they moved back two spots, got so much compensation just to take the guy that they would have taken anyways, and they left Markel Fultz with Philly. And, you know, much to Toddy's joy, it made him very happy um, that – the Celtics absolutely fleeced him. But anyways, to answer the question, this is Cap. I would say DeAndre Ayton is the second worst number one pick in the last 10 years because Markel Fultz definitely takes that distinct distinction, in my opinion. And it's unfortunate what happened to Markel Fultz, too, because like, like J. Cole said in whatever song it was, he said, I pray for Markel because they fucked up his shot. Like, I feel bad for Markel Fultz because, like, they truly, like, messed with him psychologically in Philadelphia. Not only the team trying to make him a better player, but also the fans just hating on him when they saw a guy like Jason Tatum getting drafted up the road by the Celtics and a De'Aaron Fox going to Sacramento, uh, the NBA's wasteland that they used to call basketball hell. De'Aaron Fox has since saved this Kings franchise. He has had help with DeMontis Bonus, but he could have been a 76er. Instead, they chose Mark Fultz. All right, Cavs, I'm going to swing it to you next. Factor Cap, DeAndre Ayton is the worst number one pick in the last 10 years. First, I'm going to go ahead and say y'all know for a fact how much I do not follow NBA uh, draft, all that kind of stuff. But what I will say is this. I do know a little bit of something. I heard a name like Ben Simmons. I can tell you what. That motherfucker suck. Okay? (laughs) I'm going Ben Simmons all goddamn day. Um, Now, out of the guys you did name, I do follow the NBA. I I do follow NBA, like, you know, mildly. But um, for the most part – I do a lot of sports betting, and DeAndre Ayton loses me a lot of money. <clears throat> I stopped betting on him. I stopped. I had to. Um, but yeah, no, Ben Simmons. I mean that. I can I can recall a time or two where, where DeAndre Ayton has had a solid game. Um, what the hell? What is Ben Simmons? What 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 is Ben Simmons? <laughs> what what is this? This guy's getting paid to just exist in the NBA. Um, at least Ayton. At least Ayton's on the court, um, trying to make an impact. He may be failing. But at least he's trying to make an impact. So um, I'm going to just say, as someone who doesn't pay a lot of attention to NBA basketball, especially the draft, um, just kind of hop in here and there and wait for the NBA playoffs. That's that's my time of the year. I love playoff uh, basketball. Um, I'm going to say that it is cap. Uh, that goes to Mr. Ben Simmons. All right, Toddy. Factor cap. DeAndre Ayton is the worst number one pick in the last 10 years. Okay, can you give me the list again? Because I was I heard a couple of guys. I got you. So we have Victor, Paolo, Cade, Anthony Edwards, Zion Williamson, DeAndre Ayton, Markel Fultz, Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, and Andrew Wiggins. Ooh. Andrew Wiggins won a title. Um, it's kind of – Ben Simmons, it's tough for me because Ben Simmons made like – all stars and playoff, all yes, NBA, like, all NBA. He, ac- he has accolades, so it's kind of tough for me to say he is a bust. He kind of just got injured and that kind of like fucked up his career. It's not because he well, even a- even Andrew Wiggins made an all star team, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Andrew Wiggins is 
from what Andrew Wiggins was supposed to be out of Kansas. Ooh, there was way Ma- that was Maple Jordan. Point. Yeah, it was it was pretty insane. Um, I might have to go with Markel because I don't know what happened from summer league to training camp. Markel was busting everybody's ass in summer league. Y'all can tell me nothing. Um, I just remember watching him in college at UW. He was killing. When I say killing, like he was going crazy at UW um, all throughout the regular season and just kind of what wanting to watch it play. I think this is the same. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Because dear. Wasn't Lonzo in this draft? Yeah, Lonzo was. Yeah, Lonzo in the went two. Yeah, Lonzo yeah. went two. So I was. Josh like, Jackson went four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was. I remember wanting to watch Ooh. Lonzo versus uh, Markel because they were both in the Pac-12 at mm-hmm. that time. So I remember wanting to watch that. Um, yeah, like in the summer league, kind of just watching him play, and like I think he had like a thirty ball in the summer. I was like, "Yep, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough." And then kind of, I think he got hurt. Was it he got hurt in the summer league or something? Like, I, I don't remember. The world may never yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what happened. I literally couldn't. His shoulder got fucked up. Like, I was. And then we kind of just see. I don't think we've ever seen coverage of a player's jump shot getting changed, like, to the magnitude that it was. Um, like, even Sean said, like, J. Cole mentioned the fucking song. Like, it was, it was that crazy. Because I have no idea what happened from, um, and then from you know the Celtics obviously knew something. He, they probably caught some red flags um, during the draft process. And was like, hey, you want the number one pick? Well, do you, hey, come on, step into my office, Danny Ainge style. Good old Danny. <laughs> Good old Danny Ainge said, "Step into my office." And all time finesse. Um, and all time, I've never been more excited to draft a Dookie, and that being Jason Tatum. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out to North Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina Tar Heroes. We did sweep the Duke Blue Devils this past weekend. That's neither here nor there. It but was um, it was, yeah, it, I think it probably has to be Markel, just based off of that. Because Ben Simmons, he's got all NBAs. He's got the All-Stars. He's got, you know, playoff berths. I get he didn't. There were, there were a couple of playoff runs where Ben Simmons was dropping, like, 30 balls in the playoffs. I think this was, like, Brett Brown, the Brett Brown's uh, Sixers at one point in time, the process Sixers, as we like to call them. Um, but um, just based on what Markel was supposed to be and him being and him going number one overall, kind of sucks. Um, just imagine if Josh Jackson went number one overall. That would have been he probably he probably <laughs> he probably would be on this list. But uh, I mean, even if Lonzo would have went one, he would have been kind of in question about kind of like where his career is right now. He could definitely be on this list. But, um, yeah, it was definitely tough for Markel at that point in time because at UW, he was a monster. And in the summer league, monster. And then all out of nowhere, his shot's fucked up. I don't know what's going on, guys. He's just not playing anymore. So yeah. I have to say that this is a cap. I think it's Markel Pulse. And like they say, there's always one. <laughs> Factor cap. DeAndre Ayton is the worst number one overall draft pick in the last ten years. I'm gonna say this is a fact. You can know, you go to the? Can you? Because I know that. Well, I think we all know. Can you read who was in DeAndre Ayton's draft class? Uh, Shade Gilders, Alexander, Luka Doncic, Marvin Bagley, Trey Young, Devin Vassell. Um, bunch of guys. Go ahead, go bunch ahead, Kevin. Guys. Go ahead and give uh, give us your analysis Thanks, on, on the fact, and then I'll, I'll pull up the draft order to, to recap. Heard, but this has to be a fact, you guys. Markel Fultz was supposed to come in and be a generational talent. Like, you just gave um, – I forgot who it was for injuries. You're like, well, Ben Simmons. You're like, well, he got hurt. Markel Fultz was hurt his very first season. We didn't get a chance to kind of see him flourish. Last season, he averaged 14, 6, and 5. Markel Fultz isn't a scrub. I don't DeAndre think scrub. Ayton, no one ever thought he was going to be generational. Every name on this list, you said, damn. They, they might do something. Yeah. He was taken before Luka Doncic. Like, let's Sean not make it seem like DeAndre too. Ayton was this phenomenal prospect. Like, I tried. He, he kind of was whatever. You know, we saw what he did in Phoenix, and he kind of played himself off the court. He can't really score. And all he does is rebound the ball. Like you're seven one. Of course you're averaging sixteen and ten. Like that's cool. 
but yeah, you're random. you weren't what you're supposed to be. If Markel Fultz was completely healthy and he was only averaging 14, 6, and 5, okay, then yes. But we've seen all these guys flourish. And on this list, we didn't really get to see Markel Fultz flourish. And what he's been able to do to rejuvenate his career in Orlando, you can't just walk over and say he's not doing nothing. He just got paid. You don't get a second contract in the NBA for not doing nothing. DeAndre Ayton got a second contract because the Indiana Pacers said, we'll take him. And Phoenix said, ah, just kidding. They didn't even want to re-sign him, fellas. They were going to let him walk. Just, yeah. you know what? Go out there and pick a deal. We'll match whatever you get because we don't think you're worth the max. We didn't think that. They're not going to think that about Victor. They're not going to think that about Paulo. They're not going to think that about Anthony Edwards. You know what I'm saying? That So they're, they've lived up to the number one. DeAndre Ayton hasn't. You know, he's kind of just been, eh. You know who went number two in that draft? Marvin Bagley. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, come on, man. It's like, there's a lot of teams kicking themselves. Like the Sacramento Kings. The Phoenix Suns. They could have had Luka Doncic, Trey not- Young, Shea Gilgis Alexander. If you do all of these over again, a lot of these guys will go number one still. <laughs> and what, what I'm – is that you? Oh my God. No. no, that's that's that's, that's my Keith. friend Keith, and the reason why I put it on there is this is a photo I took of Keith seconds after they picked Marvin Bagley. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let me. I just want to go on a quick tangent here. Um, me and Sean were working at In and Out. I'll never forget this. Um, Sean was telling me he's like, "Hey man," I was like, "I was like, you guys, you guys get the number two pick of the draft. Like, are you guys geeked up? Like, how are you feeling, man?" He was like. Yeah, man, they they want us to pick Martin Bagley, but they'll there's this one guy, there's just this one guy I want to tell you about. Uh, he's a Euro guy, you know, he's young. I think he's 18 okay, years old. Sean. His name is his name is Luka Doncic, and I was like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> I thought he's breaking my heart. Right I now. was like, I'd never heard of him. He was like, bro, I think he could be the next Dirk. And I was like, what? Like I, I didn't, I didn't. Uh, he was like, yeah, he's 18, he's Euro. He's he's supposed to be he's supposed to be the next Dirk. And I was like, man, Sean, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, what, what, what do you see? He's like, hey, man, you just got to watch that. Watch the tape. Watch the tape on this. This boy is the truth. And I was like, okay. I was like, he seems kind of slow. Like, he, just, I don't know if he'll be able to get a bucket in the NBA. And I'm just like, I don't know, Sean. Maybe, I was like, he might go top 10. Maybe he might go top 10. Like, I don't know. Um, and now Luka Doncic is just arguably on the trajectory of being one of the greatest Euro basketball players of all time. I'll just I'll never forget that combo. Sean did his homework. He was like, hey man, Luca Donks is gonna be one of the ones, man. And I was like, damn for real. Like Marvin Bagley had a Duke. Come on, man. It's- <laughs> Good I'll never forget Vivek for saying they didn't want to put another guard in the backcourt with De'Aaron. We just got De'Aaron the year before. <sighs> I couldn't believe it. Toddy, Toddy, are you trying to make me cry right now? Yeah. Who wasn't Vladdy the he was the GM. Yeah. 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 Know, he he one of the greatest Serbians of all time. Didn't want to he didn't want to put another he didn't want to put another guard in the backcourt, man. I didn't make no damn uh, I didn't oh. see it. I didn't see it though. So I mean I would have whipped mm. too. I didn't well, see Well, you know, and I and I showed this photo of my friend Keith, and you can even see the timestamp at the top. June 21st, 2018, 4 15 p.m. I literally took this of Keith seconds after they took Bagley. And as much as I love Luka Doncic. I tried to spin it in a positive way. I was like, hey, you know well, De'Aaron has a running mate now. They can just run pick and rolls, and he'll throw him lobs, and it'll be all good and great. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, and it worked out the way it did. Um, and to was he supposed to go 20- there? Like, the, y'all were supposed to – Y'all supposed to draft him. I forgot what happened. Some happened. Like, yeah, then something. then Vivek happened. Then Vivek happened. It, it, I mean, Kevin hit the nail on the head. Vivek happened, and he was like, oh, we – can't have another guard. Oh, okay. uh, anyways, uh, to to recap the 2018 draft, the guys that were drafted around a DeAndre Ayton. So Ayton went one. Then, as well documented, Marvin Bagley went two. Luka Doncic went three. Jaron Jackson Jr. went four. Trey Young, Javon's boy, went five. I say Colin right. Sexton went eight. Mikhail Bridges went tenth. Shea Gilgis Alexander went eleventh. Michael Porter Jr. went 14, Dante Divin, Dante DiVincenzo, 17, That's great. Robert Williams, the third, 27, Jalen Brunson, 33rd, and Mitchell Robinson, 36. So imagine if we got Shea. That would be crazy. <laughs> imagine if we got any of those guys. <laughs>